Hello Aquarius, Jennifer Pearson here, Thistle Gypsy, with your October Singles Love Reading. We're going to do things a little bit differently today for October because it is the month of Halloween. And I'm going to read this first and then I have a pile of cards here that are from various Halloween-y themed decks. And we're going to have a different sort of set of questions, and we'll go through those cards after we're finished with this. So, it's really interesting to me that you have so much fire. You have so much fire, you air signs. And the earth signs have had, like all summer long, they've had so much fire. Um... And you guys, too, really, I don't know if it's consistently as the earth signs, but it's like, wow. Um, so what, somebody is definitely going to plan a trip and take a trip. I don't know what distance, but they're going to plan a trip and take a trip. And it's going to end really well. You're going to have a really good time. So what's when I say someone is because I don't know if it's you who are going to take the trip or if it's another person who's going to come to see you one way or the other. And so the thing that's particularly in question here is this. I see this as you on fire, smoldering. Um, and this is you, one possibility, is you having brought in this fire to a situation. And so, you know, it could be you've caught yourself on fire um, with your imagination. It could be that this is another person that you have caught on fire. So that's, I just don't know who the instigator is. <laughs> I don't know if this is somebody else who caught you on fire or if you caught somebody else on fire. But, you know, loads of passionate, fiery, creative energy sparks are flying everywhere and things are smoldering. You know, this level of fire is transformative that's what happens to of course it burns down the forest but um i've lived out west and so i know i've seen what this level of fire does to an area so it's really intense aquarius it's really intense of course cards can can over dramatize the situation you know, maybe you'll end up feeling a warm glow towards someone instead. If you're like me, that's the way the cards give this outrageous, you know, amplification of everything. And then, you know, it's it's much more muted for me. Um, so, yeah, don't expect necessarily this level of drama might not hit all of you. But there it is. There are some pretty darn strong cards. And I feel like this situation... This fiery sparks flying situation, immediately, air sign, you start thinking, how do I meet this person? How do we get together? How do we get together again? How long is it going to take? <laughs> you know, what do I have to do? Um, or again, this could be the other person. And there it is, the seeker. You've got the fiery fox there. So it might be something clever. Um, you've got uh, swallows, which are also happiness, as well as bluebirds being happiness, but so are swallows. And there's your butterfly for your transformation. A couple of swallow tails down there also. So to me, that's what it is. And it's the fool. It's like, so some of this could be communication right here. So, you know, you could be having some flaming text with somebody and it's like all right that's enough if it's if this is if this is what it is we've got to we've got to meet 
and see if this is for real because I don't want to play this too long. I want to meet and see if it's real. And then you get the six of fire, you know, so entertainment. So you could get together with somebody and this could be the, when you meet with them, you know, a gathering. Um, but the six of fire is also victory. It's a tremendously positive card. If what's happening here is you going to meet somebody um, who either shares a passion, passion with you, who ignites you, you know, here's another fire, um, could share the same interests. It's, you know, it's one of those, oh my God, you love this too. Oh my God, you're going to Burning Man. I'm going to Burning Man too. Let's, let's meet up there. <laughs> so whatever it is. And there it is. You're both in awe of the fire that you create together. It's happening. It's a glow. It's happening. And fire, fire, fire. Movement toward the fire is victory and childlike wonder and enjoyment. It's really nice, Aquarius. <laughs> you have one of the best. Um, there's a couple other good ones, but definitely one of the best. And, and the air signs, I think, came out uh, in general a lot better than some of the other signs. So there you go. Happy October. So we're going to switch now to uh, some spooky cards. Oh, yours, yours aren't too spooky. I don't know. Um, anyway, if you don't like this sort of thing, feel free to move along now. Uh, but here we go. So this card represents, it is the Hierophant in this deck, represents what is haunting your love life. So the message I got out of that card is that you're haunted by someone's advice whether something that um, whether that advice sort of came to you in a dream since this is an apparition so it could be advice that came to you in dream it could be advice you can see he's got a book there that he's going from it could be advice uh, that someone gave you long ago in your life. This person is long vanished, um, but you still remember the words of grandma about relationships, you know, uh, and that sort of thing is haunting you. And my feeling is that if it's haunting you, then, then it's something that's saying that the way you go about relationships is somehow not right or not going to give you what you want. And that's why it's haunting you. So um, what I got was the relationship advice leaves you with a sense of impending doom whenever you start getting close to someone. And other signs have had this. Um, different cards coming up from them, for them, but essentially the same message resulting. That sense of impending doom when you start to get close to something or, or someone and a new relationship um, is starting. At least two others that I can think of had a very direct message in that regard. Um, so we're going to move on here. What is an illusion? I've got this wire hanging out here. Um, and of course, just because I drew attention to it, it'll bug everybody now. <laughs> oh, my eye went away. Um, yeah, so we're finished with that. This is who or what, excuse me, what is an illusion? So if you feel like you've scared somebody off, um, or it could even be that you feel like you've vanquished this advice and that, that saying or whatever it is that's haunting you won't come back. <clears throat> no, the victory is not as complete as you're thinking. So if you've offended somebody, they're not permanently gone. You might have been hoping they were permanently gone. You might have hit them with some really good sarcasm, something along those lines, and you thought, well, that's the end of that. I won't be seeing them again. And I think that's what you want. <laughs> um, 
but this is saying that that's an illusion. So now you're prepared in case somebody shows back up. Who or what you need to stop chasing? Because this looks so much like a caduceus, I feel like there's um, your. You might have tried to or be trying to force some kind of healing with somebody. It's like you don't want to end on bad terms. Maybe this was the bad terms you were thinking. Um, you know, who or what you need to stop chasing. Stop trying to heal that relationship. It may just be beyond your power. It may be that it doesn't need to be healed. For one thing, this card indicates that you didn't have quite the impact you might have been hoping for. So, uh, what is hanging on from the past? The Knight of Pentacles. So, he's got his bag of money there. But he's really entangled in something. So, it's like... so. Knight of Pentacles is generally the slowest knight. This is the person in a romantic situation who can be really aggravating because they want to move at such a slow pace. But in this deck, it's even showing that, you know, you might be moving at a slow pace because he's entangled, you know, and he's weighed down by his possessions. So it could be that you had a relationship um, with somebody and still may have a, a passing relationship with somebody who's very established um, or nearly so and very attached to their physical situation and they're really not wanting to move and their situation is just prevent, preventing them from doing anything. So, um, so that's somebody who's hanging on from the past. It, that, you know, it, these could all be related right here. You may have tried to tell this person, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over, to the point of getting sarcastic. And uh, these are tough people, so they're thick-skinned. <laughs> so it could be that your attempts to repel them aren't working as successfully as you would hope. Um, what would be good to release? You've got another, you have, this is the knight, and this is the king of swords. So I feel like there's a, you know, you've got something going on here, but there's some, some stuff from the past that still needs to be completely let go. One is this, this Knight of Pentacles, and the other is this King of Swords. So this could be somebody who's just as good at any sort of verbal or intellectual sparring as you are. But you need to let that person go. I mean, that's the sort of thing that actually could, for you, an Aquarius, an air sign. Um, it's, what do they call it? Sapiophilia? What are they? When, when you love the intelligence of other people. So you could actually be really turned on by this person if you get to actually sparring with them or having really intellectual conversations with them. But it's saying, you know, you need to release this. What blocks progress? Yeah, being a hermit, seeking your own light, seeking your own philosophy, getting really um, lost into your mind and your own philosophical and mental exploration. Yes. Do I think that's going to change for you or even should change for you? No. But does it block? Um, romantic possibilities, yeah, we just have to admit that and then just carry on <laughs> the way we've carried on. Um, I'm not an air sign, but I do have an ascendant Gemini. It's 
like, well, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Um, but there have been times in my life when I wanted to focus more on romance and I had to recognize that this was problematic and make some adjustments. So that's up to you whether or not you want to do that. What to stop doing? Queen of Cups. In your case, being an Aquarius, you know the cups take on a different meaning. You being the water bearer and a rescuer through water. And so my thinking here in terms of what to stop doing is to stop rescuing people. You need somebody who's on an equal footing as you. So there you go. Those, I don't know why, yours ended up going, maybe because this is quite clear. Um, yeah, you're reading. Usually, this is my last, this is the last reading that I'm doing for October. And usually as I do that, it gets slower and slower and slower. Um, so this is really unusual to have gotten through this. Um, probably one of the quickest times for my October readings. So I hope you enjoy all this. I hope this opportunity comes, you know, comes to everybody. This is a general reading, so it might not, but I hope it does, that you fully enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you again in November. Take care. Bye-bye.